So I did an experiment. I went onto the Chemist Warehouse website and searched in vitamins and 2,134 results came up. So if you're confused about supplements, I don't blame you. Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met yet, my name is Madison Don't and I am a science graduate, avid researcher, biology teacher and naturopathy student. The last few years I've been not only on the pill but also on antibiotics for my constant little breakouts until one day when my face and my neck was just covered in painful cysts and severe adult acne. This was my body telling me that over a year on antibiotics had killed my gut microbiome and over seven years on the pill had screwed up my hormones. So this is what led me to wanting to learn more about how to heal my body and restore it naturally. Today I wanna to show you the supplements that helped me cure my acne naturally and also helped me get off antibiotics and the pill. Not only am I gonna show you the exact ones I use, but I'm also going to take you through all of the ingredients, explain to you why I chose those exact ones and let you know what it will do for your acne. In doing this, like always, I will show you the supporting studies, but just remember that everybody is different. And so while I may not be getting enough of something in my diet, you may be, and so you may not need all of these supplements. And if you stick around to the end, I even have a little freebie in this video for you. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also the little bell beside it because then you'll get notified when I post a new video every Sunday. All right, so one of the first supplements that I picked up was BioZinc, and when my acne was really bad, I was taking two of these. Now, because I feel like I've got my acne under control, but my hormones are still trying to sort themselves out, I still take one. So hormonal birth control depletes zinc like crazy. So zinc is super important in reducing DHT, which is actually a form of testosterone. I actually went through how testosterone causes pimples in my last video. So make sure afterwards that you check that one out for more information. Zinc also increases the production of keratin, which is a protein needed for healthy skin, but it's also needed for strong, healthy hair and nails. If you'd asked me before this, I would have told you that I thought hair, skin and nail tablets were a waste of money, but ever since I've been taking this supplement for my skin, oh my God, like my hair and my nails have just been growing so strong and healthy and so quickly. So if I broke a nail, my nails are always pretty good, but if I broke a nail, please focus, they would be this length within the next week. Like it's crazy. So I also found this study with 94 acne patients and it also shows that those people who had acne had significantly depleted levels of zinc and the more severe the acne, the less zinc that they had. So there you go. So another ingredient in the bio zinc tablets is actually magnesium. So what magnesium does is magnesium decreases your cortisol levels, which is what you get from stress. So by decreasing your cortisol levels, it takes your body out of that fight or flight mode, which allows your digestive system to start working again, therefore increasing the uptake of nutrients that you need and clearing your skin. So gut health and stress, there's a huge link there and I'm actually going to do a video on it very soon. So that should be coming out next month, but there's, it's crazy. Like stress is not a perception thing. It's actually biologically and chemically linked. So I'm going to explain all of that next month. Another significant ingredient in the BioZinc supplements is vitamin A. So vitamin A is super important in the cells turnover. And so basically it's like a natural exfoliant. As humans, we're constantly shedding our skin and replacing it with a new layer every couple of weeks. So we're a bit like snakes and our skin does this so that it can maintain our external barriers, keep our skin nice and fresh and clean, and also to protect us from infection. If you want to know more about the skin, I've actually found a hilarious book um, by Matthew McDonald. Other people may not find it funny. I don't know, I might just be a nerd, but um, it is written really well. So if you wanna check that one out, I'll pop that down in the description for you too. 
Now, with vitamin A supplements in general, please be really, really careful because an excess of vitamin A is really not good. And especially if you're pregnant, it can cause birth defects. So vitamin A is definitely important, but just make sure that you're not getting an excess. Okay, so another excellent supplement for acne is also fish oil. So fish oil is an excellent source of omega-3 healthy fats. And when my acne was really bad, I was having two a day. So now I only have one a day. Um, they are high strength, um, but I don't get very many fats in my diet. So I was having two a day for my acne. So fats are super important because they actually make up the walls of our trillions of cells. So animal cells and us, therefore us, don't actually have cell walls. They're called cell membranes, but you don't really need to know that right now. Just kind of think of it like a wall. Um, but the fats are like the structural component of those walls of every single one of our cells. So the cell membrane is called a phospholipid bilayer, just a little biology for you. The phospho is for the phosphate exterior of the wall and the lipid is what a broken down fat is called. So the lipid is actually like the, the wall inside. I'm not a builder, the cushioning of the wall. I don't know. Um, and it's called bilayer because it actually has two of those layers. Um, so I will draw you a little picture. I apologize in advance. I am a shocking drawer and any of my students at school could tell you this, um, but I don't want to get flagged for copyright. So you're going to have to put up with my awesome drawings. So as well as structure, because fats actually make up the boundary of your cells, they can also be really good at helping you absorb other nutrients. So other fat soluble vitamins and also antioxidants. Now also mentioned in my last video was the fact that omega threes are excellent at regulating irregular periods and also reducing testosterone. So again, if you want to learn any more about that, um, then I will just pop up the link to that video on the screen now. In the meantime, here are two studies that were also conducted on human participants that actually show acne was improved with omega-3 supplements. So feel free to have a read. I will leave all the links in the description below. Personally, I knew that it was important for me to take fish oil because I know that I don't get enough fats in my diet. Um, so although I like some fish, a lot of my family doesn't. So we've just grown up not having very much. Um, and avocado, I do like avocado, but if I have too much, the texture makes me feel sick. So I have half the amount of avocado as a normal person. Um, and lastly, nuts. I don't like nuts by themselves and I don't like peanuts at all, even in curries. So yeah, that makes it really hard for me to find healthy snacking options. And I am trying to implement more fats in my, into my diet. So if you are able to get lots of fats through foods, then obviously getting it through diet is always um, the better way. But if not, then fish oil might be for you. So I'm really interested in what your favorite types of healthy fats are. If you can put them down in the comments below, that would be awesome because then maybe it will give me some ideas of how I could implement a little bit more um, into my diet as well. All right, are you ready for the holy grail supplement? I don't think you are, but I will tell you anyway. So if you'd asked me a year ago whether I thought probiotics work, I would have told you that I thought they were not as good as other supplements on the markets and that they were probably mostly a placebo pill. Well, how wrong I was. Because probiotics, I think, have actually been one of the supplements that made the biggest difference in my acne. I can say this because I didn't start taking them straight away. In fact, I started taking them six weeks after I initially went to the doctor for my acne. Um, so he put me on a bunch of stuff. Um, and then six weeks later, I just wasn't happy with how it was progressing. So that's when I kind of started to look into gut health. Um, so I had already kind of started in the way of gut health uh, through diet, just from what I'd learnt with my sister being diagnosed with UC. Um, but I started to kind of explore it more for myself and for acne. Um, and this is where it really, everything just took off. And I knew that I wanted to study naturopathy because it just became so true to me how much the gut is linked 
to everything. So I started taking probiotics and yeah, I just, I noticed a difference so quickly from the moment that I started taking them. And about a month ago, I had run out um, and I hadn't had a chance to get any more yet. So I actually went a week without probiotics. And in that week, I noticed four pimples come back. So I don't know. And then I started taking it again and I have not had four pimples within the same week since. So I'm telling you, there's, there's something there. There's something in the probiotics. I actually know what it is. It's lots of little bacteria and bugs, but it works. Gut health is so crucial to all health and to basically all disease. Um, so I'm going to do a huge series videos, everything on it um, soon, uh, but it is a big topic and I do want to explain it to you well so that you genuinely believe me when I say that everything stems from the gut. Um, so that will be to come. Now, the probiotics that I take are the Life Space Broad Spectrum. Um, and yeah, like I said, I just did a bit of research on them and I was really happy with the strains. Um, so Lactobacillus and oh, I haven't tried to pronounce that B one yet. Bifidobacterium, not too bad. So these are also um, pretty cheap compared to some of the others on the markets as well. So if you get them on special, um, yeah, you can get like 90 capsules for $24 maybe that might be a couple dollars off but if you get them on special the most I'd ever taken was three um, and you can actually get triple strength tablets uh, but now I take one and if I accidentally miss a day um, or I feel like I'm getting sick or something then I'll take two um, so yeah you can't can't go wrong when you have some extra good bacteria in your gut Okay, so the last supplement in my acne journey is vitamin C. Vitamin C is, it's anti-inflammatory, but it's also super, super important in promoting your collagen and also your elastin production. So basically what that's important in is helping your skin bounce back and prevent scars. So essentially it improves the elasticity of your skin so that when your skin is stretched, like for a pimple when it's inflamed um, or, or when it's risen above the skin, it will bounce back um, and it will remain nice and firm and it won't have um, yeah, any scarring or anything um, on the surface. And also a literature review written by an Indian dermatologist um, also goes on to say that vitamin C is an excellent depigmenting agent. Um, so what this means is that it's also really good at brightening dark spots and scars as well. So yeah, for elastin, vitamin C is super important and also producing collagen so that your skin can bounce back. Um, and then also apparently uh, research suggests that it's also good for brightening as well. Now, he also says that because vitamin C is an unstable compound, it usually works best in combination with something else, such as licorice root. Now, did I talk about licorice root in my last video? Yes, I did. And I talked about how good it was. So you should definitely go and check that one out if you haven't already. Okay, so what probably caught your attention in the title of this video is that I said I would be covering what supplements you shouldn't be taking. So when I was struggling, I watched a lot of my acne story videos on YouTube and almost all of them mentioned two supplements, DIM, so D-I-M, um, and Vitex. Now, these two supplements were prescribed by their naturopath and from my research, it appears that those two supplements are excellent at balancing your hormones. But this is only if you are not on hormonal birth control. So this is after you've gone off hormonal birth control. So the reason why they are a waste of money if you are still on the pill is because hormonal birth control, um, each pill gives you a certain amount of hormones every single day. So Vitex and um, dim and supplements like that are designed to help your body either make more or less of a certain supplement depending on what you're high or low in. Whereas if your body is not making estrogen and progesterone because it's getting hormones for free um, from the pill and your brain and your ovaries have stopped communicating because they don't need to, they're getting the work done for them, then 
there's no point taking a supplement to help you make more or less of something if you're not making it and you're getting a certain amount um, of the hormones in the pill every single day regardless. I just recommend that um, if you are going to go off the pill, then you look into DIM and Vitex because I do think that they are good supplements. Um, but if you're still on the pill and then you watch all of these acne story videos on YouTube, I wouldn't be running out to go get yourself some of those supplements unless you're going to go off the pill. Now, the reason why I also say look into, I don't want you to just go out and buy them because you saw them on a YouTube video and then start taking them um, because like I said, each one is for different things. So it depends what hormone you are high or low in. So what I recommend is that you go see a naturopath um, and that's after you've gone off the pill and they will get you to do a saliva test. Now you usually do hormone testing between six to eight weeks after you've come off the pill because before then, the synthetic hormones are still in your system. So in order to get a true accurate um, representation of what your hormones are doing, where they're at and what your body is capable of doing itself, you need to wait six to eight weeks, then you can get the test, then you can see what you need and then you can take the appropriate supplement for it. So just be really careful with that. So when I came off the pill, I did a lot of research into these supplements and I will do another video on them, but um, Obviously, my research must have worked because to my surprise and considering that my acne was pretty bad at the start of the year, I thought my hormones would be really screwed up and it would take me almost a year to get my period back, but I actually got it back within six weeks. So the supplement that I got myself must have obviously worked. And P.S. It may have licorice in it. Also, just a big disclaimer do not start taking these supplements without just taking the idea to your doctor first because your latest blood test may show that you're actually high in something that I was low in um, and you just don't want to be taking supplements that even further increase your levels or if you're getting say vitamin A in other medication that you're taking you don't want to be taking extra amounts as well so just make sure that you check it over with your doctor um, and then it should be fine. And another thing to remember is that too much of anything is not a good idea. So just because zinc helps acne, don't go having the whole bottle in one day, please. I know that that's silly to say, but I know what it's like to be desperate with acne. Like, Anyway, time for the freebie. So because I know what it's like to be up until 2 a.m. researching and trying to gather all your notes and look at an overview so that you can decide on a game plan, what I have done is I have compiled all of this information um, and all of these supplements and all of their benefits um, into a free PDF document for you. And don't worry, I've simplified it. I know that I've spoken a lot, um, but I've also included some of the ingredients in the supplements that I haven't been able to cover today as well. In my first video, I covered one of three things that cause every pimple. And in my next video, I'm going to cover the other two so that that way you have a better understanding of how to knock out all three naturally and therefore cure your acne like I did. If you want to join my community, then be sure to go and check out my new Instagram. I try to keep all of my captions, stories, and IGTVs super helpful. And I'm always up for a chat in the DMs about your personal health journey if you need. If you enjoyed this video, please like it below, subscribe and share it with your friends. I would also really appreciate if you head down into the comments section and tell me if this video helped you and also what else you would like to see on my channel. Thank you so much for listening. I really hope that my research helped you and that you are now one step closer to healing your acne naturally.